We have got new tasty products. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all good today. I am so excited for this video because we have got another tasty palette to try out. iHeart Revolution have brought out their tasty pineapple range. I picked up the palette. I picked up these really cute brushes. I also picked up their lip plumping gloss as well. And on top of that, I also got something which was on my wish list is the iHeart Revolution Tasty Watermelon Blusher. And I've got it in the shade Pop because I've been eyeing this out. And I guess we'll test this as well. We might as well. They were missing the pineapple. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. And this color story just says it all. I think it's gotta be up there. My favorite color stories they've done in a tasty, like fruit palette. It's so colorful, so summery. So yeah, if you wanna see how the eyeshadow performs, the lip gloss, well, everything what I've just shown you, you can carry watching, hit subscribe, and let's go. Okay, so let's dig in. I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow. This packaging, I love the green and yellow together that they've done. Spoiler, I haven't used a few of the shades already behind the camera. I just used some of the neutral shades and yeah, liking it. <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like. It's got this 3D effect on the front and these are the shades. So the shades I have tried off camera, I did like a neutral look. I didn't film it, I just wanted to, to test it out. I used Hawaiian pizza and I really like this in the crease. And then I used sugar, I deepened it out with Bahama Mama. <laughs> and then I used a bit of Caramel C, which is a nice, it's like a goldy orangey tone. I'm a huge fan of the Tasty palette. I really like the Tasty Watermelon. I also like the Tasty Latte and the Tasty Pumpkin Pie, what they brought out in their Christmas sets. So this is bang on summer, I'd say. So this palette is 10 pounds. That is their typical price for their Tasty palettes. Okay, so these swatches from the eyeshadow palette swatched absolutely beautifully. The color I would say I had to build up a lot was this lime green shade, which is called Upside Down, which is this one. I also feel like the eye shade and the tropical gold have a similar texture. It's a bit chunky, not too chunky, but it's just got a similar texture. But yeah, loving these shades. Eye base, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bay eye base. I've also had a new sponge. This is the Coco Marshmallow sponge, which I am a huge fan. But I will still have my Shein sponges because I absolutely love them. Almost forgot, we also got these brushes as well. So this brush set costs £12. Quite difficult to get out because they're like stuck down into the packaging, which I'm not a fan of. These brushes are so cute. I love the colours. The yellow and green. So we've got a big fluffy bending brush and then we've got a more like a flat top brush. I guess you could use that for blending. And then we've got more of a pencil brush that you could use on the lower lash line and then we've got a flat angle brush. So yeah, I guess we could test these out as well. I have a feeling these might be too big though for my eyes so I will alternate between my own brushes as well which I tend to do anyway. I'm gonna go in the shade Sweet. Wait, does it smell like pineapple? No, it doesn't. How awesome would it be if it smelled like pineapple? So I'm gonna put Sweet on the end of my eyes. These bristles feel soft to the lids, not scratchy whatsoever. It's like a baby pink. Packs are really nice though. I do think this, this blending brush is too big, but like it's just gonna go all over my eye. Um, I could just try it out. Yeah, I just feel like it's too big for this. Um, maybe I could use it as a concealer brush. So as for that, I am gonna go in my own brushes uh, just cause it's a lot slimmer. So to blend that out, I'm gonna go in with Pink Sands baby light pink and I'm just gonna smooth the edges out with that shade which does that perfectly so for my next color I'm gonna take a shade between sliced and jelly see how they turn out and I'm just gonna put it above the pink slightly. Yeah. Give it some variation of tone. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm gonna go in with sliced more, more of this yellow, and see if I can squeeze it slightly just at the top. Mm, 
I'm just going with the flow with this. I haven't really planned it out. Um, we'll just see. But yeah, I really like how that's blended out there. It's very soft looking. Oh, I got this shimmy here crown. That would look so pretty. And then we've got the Caribbean Sea, which really looks like my shade, like that. And then we've got Syrup, Barbie Pink. We've got Tropical Gold, which will also look nice. Hummingbird. And then we've got Iced. Ooh, that could look cool. Maybe we could do something with that. And then we've got Sugar, so I've just, Fingers watched all those shades. I like the look of ice. Maybe we could do something with that. But as for the middle, I might go in with jelly. See what that's like. I'm gonna use a different brush for this. I'm gonna use this brush. Don't know if this is gonna be the right one, but we'll just see. No. I feel like this brush is better for the low lash line. It's too nibby for this look. So I'm just gonna take a different brush. Put jelly in the middle. Jelly shade is so nice. I might put a shimmer on top of jelly. So on top of jelly, I might go with Caribbean Sea, see what that looks like. Oh, that could look so nice. But I also want to try out that iced shade because I reckon that could look really nice. I'm also going to take this sliced shade. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner bit. This slice shade I did also use behind the camera. I used it with a lot of the neutral shades, which blended in really nice. So I put sliced in the inner corner and then I used these browns just on the out corner and that looked really nice. It does take a bit of building up, the slice shade does, because it's such a light color, um, but so pretty. Um, taking the shade Iced, I want to see what that's going to look like. I feel like it might be too chunky, so I'll just wet it a bit. And let's see what that's going to look like. I think this might look nice against the yellow. Okay, so this is coming out pretty chunky. Um, let's try and spread that out a bit. Oh, it's a bit too chunky that is. Um, hmm. I like the shade, but I, the, the method of applying it is a bit messy. So maybe I need to use my finger instead so it picks up less product maybe, hopefully. So let's go in my little finger and I'm just gonna dab, see what that's like. I just dab on the shade instead of just using a brush. Okay, I prefer that method. But I really like that now. Okay, I really like that. So I do prefer to use my finger for that shade. I'm gonna go back into Caribbean Sea and I'm just gonna add more of that to the middle of the lid. So this is the look so far. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go into that nibby brush and I'm just gonna go for all the colors what we used on top, but just put it on the little lash line. So we went in sweet. Put that in there. I love the shade. And we went into jelly and then sliced. Yeah, I prefer this brush for the low lash line, definitely. It just, it's just more precise. I'm gonna try to use this ice shade and put it in the brow bone. I feel like over a brush, it's just too, it just comes out so chunky. I'm just trying my finger. Okay, that's a bit better. It's not my favorite shade to use for the brow bone, but it'll do. I'm gonna use a tropical gold, see what that looks like in the inner corner. I just love it in a corner highlight. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like that, is it in a corner highlight? Definitely. I just felt like we needed something. So I'm gonna head off camera. I'm gonna come back, get my base on. We can try out this liquid blush from the Tasty Watermelon range. And we have got a lip plumping gloss. I'm not expecting a lot from this, just cause 
I don't know why I brought it because I'm trying to like stay away from plumping glasses at the minute because they are quite of an irritant to your lips so uh, I don't want to make my lips even drier but just for the sake of the video I will test it out. Okay so I've just done half of my base. For my primer I just used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Silk and then foundation I used the Pretty Little Thing foundation in the shade Golden Beige and then bronzer I just quickly went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Glow Bronzer which is heaven. I'm just going to quickly test this brush. I've just popped on some concealer. I used the e.l.f. Hydrating Camera Concealer Satin Finish. This is my first time using it so I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, let's just blend it in anyway and let's see what this brush can be like. Um, why is that lifted up there? Oh god. I feel like it's lifting my chin. Let's just try the nose. This is full coverage. I didn't expect it. I feel like the bristles on this is too long. I do under eye conceal. Yeah, it's too long. These bristles are too long. I need something something that's short or get right in there like a sponge. Um, so maybe not that brush for concealer. I still need to find another way to use this brush. Maybe a highlighter, so I could use, I could try it as a highlighter. Okay, so let's try this blush. So this blush costs five pound. It's the I Heart Revolution Tasty Watermelon Liquid Blush in the shade Pop. And that's what it looks like. So let me just swatch it down quick. Ooh, it comes out pretty quick, that does. Let me see if I've got a brush for this. I'm just gonna use an I Heart Revolution brush. Just see how that, Lens. Oh, that proper smells like watermelon. <laughs> wow. So it's like a wash of peach. So let's just try it out. So let's start off with one dot. See what we're working with. Okay. I feel like it's lifting my foundation slightly. Let me just tap with my finger. Maybe that brush was just too hard. Try this side again. Maybe it's one for your finger. I'm unsure on this one. See, I like it on this side, but on this side, I feel like it's lifted the product underneath. I can't tell. The more I look at it, the more it hasn't. I feel like it hasn't now. I think I prefer this to use this with my finger than a brush. Maybe I could try it out with a sponge next time, but I actually do really like the colour of that. It looks so nice. I feel like I need to practice more of this blush. It's not a straight away absolutely love it like the XX Revolution bubbles, but if I can figure out how to use it in a way that's not gonna disrupt the product underneath, because um, I really do like the colour. Okay, so let's try this lip gloss. This lip gloss costs five pounds. It did come with two shades in the range. Let me just see if I can get it up. So the one I've got is in clear. It is just a shimmering pineapple yellow, it says. And they had another shade called Frost, which was a shimmering pink. It says, give your lips TLC with the I Heart Revolution Tasty Pineapple Iced Plumping Gloss. These super cool lip glosses have lips looking plumper for that full lip looking pout whilst feeling cooling on the lips. Okay, so the uh, lipstick I'm wearing is this sleek satin lipstick. It's in the shade Say It Out Loud. Um, I'm just gonna put this over it. I'm not expecting a lot from this. Maybe I should've put this, oh, I've ruined it now. Maybe I should've put this under the lipstick because it is a clear. Yeah, I haven't really got much to say about this. Uh, I don't know why I bought it. Maybe throughout the video I can feel it tingling. But I have got another layer on underneath, so I don't know. If you like your plumping glasses, uh, I don't know if this is a good one. It's probably something that I'm not going to use because I'm trying to stay away from the plumping glasses. Uh, it's created a nice veil gloss though, but I guess you could just get that from a normal clear gloss. And yes, it actually just tastes like pineapple. Okay, I can feel it. It's not uncomfortable tingling it's like a cooling it's like a cooling tingling instead of a spicy hot tingling 
That tingling sensation feels a lot nicer than other lip plumpers that I've tried, like the Too Faced one. I feel like that was a proper tingle, but this is just like a, a cooling tingle, like a... I think it matches the name of this gloss. It's called Freeze. And it's definitely got like a cooling sensation on your lips. Yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, this is what my lips look like. My lips are so dry at the minute, so please ignore any dry bits. Um, but yeah. It's an okay glass. Uh, it's not something I'd rush out to buy though. I'm just gonna try this brush again, just see what a highlighter would look like on it. So I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter in this. It's the Revolution Collab with Love Island. It's the mega highlighter called Stun Hun. Absolutely love this. I wore this to a festival. Stunning. Yeah, I definitely use this brush for a highlighter. I wouldn't use it for eyeshadow, no, but highlighter, yeah, okay. I'm going to hop off camera, do something else to my eyes, maybe put some lashes on and then we can come back and discuss our final thoughts. So guys, here is the completed look using the Tasty Pineapple range and this eyelash is not cooperating please ignore the glue there it just wasn't working out but now everything's on and i'm really liking the sensation on my lips right now random it's just got a really nice cooling effect and really good for the summer i guess uh i don't know how if it's made my lips bigger or not I don't know. Um, but yeah, as for the eyeshadow palette, I really like the look that I come out with. I think the colours blended into each other very nicely. Like I said in the video, I just found this eye shade on the chunky side, but I guess you could just figure ways how to use that. Um, I think finger would be fine because you don't apply a lot that much on your finger. Let me see if I can try to cover that glue. I oh, know it's on the other side, isn't it? That glue is doing my head in. Has it covered? Made it a bit better. Maybe the glue has helped to stick it on better. Um, yeah, with the eye shade, maybe spray it with a fixing spray, um, like wet your finger and then tap it on. Maybe that will hold the color better. But yeah, I do really like how this eye shade has turned out against the other shades. I think it's just made it a bit more different. Would I recommend this palette? Absolutely for £10. I think it would be a great one for your palette summer collection. I'm definitely going to do another video of this palette. It just, it just needs to happen. Maybe I could do a neutral look with this palette because you could easily do a colourful look and wear it down and do like a soft glam look. As for the brushes, they're very cute. I wouldn't say I'd run out to go grab them dead quick. Um, I don't know, I feel like the shapes are a bit off to use for eyeshadow, especially this one. <laughs> I'd prefer to use this as a highlighter brush. So I think that applied highlighter nicely. This one's okay for packing on color, but I wouldn't necessarily blend with it. Um, I do really like this brush though for the under eye. I think that's really nice and precise. I still haven't used this winged liner brush yet. I need to try that out. Maybe I could do it in the next video, like do a winged eyeshadow look maybe. The blush that I tried out, I still need to practice with this. Um, I do like the colour, how it's turned out now. Now everything's on. I think it looks really nice with the eyeshadow palette. As for this lip gloss, I really like the feel of this. This is probably my favourite feeling out of a lip plumping gloss. All the others that I've tried are just very uncomfortable, but this one... It feels really nice and it feels really cool to the skin and I can imagine this feeling nice on a really hot summer day. As for the volumization, I, I honestly don't know if it, <laughs> I don't know if it does anything. I think it just makes your lips look juicy and it makes your lips feel nice and it also smells identical to pineapple. Oh, and this e.l.f. concealer that I just tried out it's the thumbs up for me. So guys, that is the end of my tasty pineapple testing video from I Heart Revolution. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of this collection? Do you think it was necessary? I think it was necessary. They were definitely missing the pineapple. I think they should do a tasty kiwi. You know, they've done the tasty avocado with the greens and stuff, but they need to do another green palette and call it tasty kiwi, because I absolutely love kiwis. It needs to happen. Someone go to I Heart Revolution and say that I've said they need Tasty Kiwi. All right then, I'm gonna go. I am going to film a TikTok, so if you wanna follow me on there and you wanna see what I've created doing this look, then head over there. Um, follow my Instagram if you haven't already, it's more to Faye. 
my TikTok is Mortefay1 because Mortefay was taken because I had to. It's a long story. I hope you have a lovely day, night time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!